Hope you are all doing good students and enjoying our sessions of learning mathematics online. As promised to you earlier in the part 2 of explanations of chapter 1, first of all I would like to give you the solutions of exercise 1.2 questions which I had given to you to solve in part in part 2. By chance if you haven't seen part 1 and part 2 yet the link is in the description below. These are the solutions of exercise 1.2 questions 1 to question number 6. These are the solutions for question number 7 to question number 9. Here are the solutions for question number 10, 11 and 12. Now, let us begin with the next concept we have planned for today. That is estimation. The estimation of a number is a reasonable guess of the actual value. Estimation means approximating a quantity to the accuracy required this is done by rounding off the numbers involved and getting a quick and rough answer here is some explanation for you children rounding off a number to the nearest tens the numbers 1 2 3 and 4 are nearer to 0 so these numbers are rounded off to the lower 10 the numbers 6 7 8 and 9 are nearer to 10 so these numbers are rounded off to the higher 10 now the number 5 is equidistant from both 0 and 10 so it is rounded off to the higher 10 for example we round off 31 to the nearest 10 as 30 we will run, round off 57 to the nearest 10 as 60 and 45 would be rounded off to as 50 again rounding off a number to the nearest hundreds examples for this are we round off 578 to the nearest 100 as 600 we round off 310 to the nearest 100 as 300 similarly rounding off to the nearest thousands we would round off 2574 to the nearest thousands as 3000 and 7105 would it would be rounded off to 7000 quite a lot of you have already learned all this in the previous year and this year you are going to learn to estimate using general rule which is very important now what is general rule what is the general rule for estimation when it comes to estimating in math there is a general rule for you to follow this general rule tells you to look at the digits to the right of the digit you have to estimate and if it is less than 5 then you round it down and if it is greater than 5 you round it up here are some examples for you children the question says that you have to estimate the operations the solutions for the operations using general rule the first example for you here is 6432 plus 546 so here one trick that i would teach you here is that i want you to put a slash with your pencil or your blue pen here and a slash here So now what you have to understand is that the last three digits that is the digits after the slash are definitely going to become 0 and here after the slash 4 6 is definitely going to become 0 so now what you have to think is that this number 4 this digit is definitely smaller than 5 so we are not going to add 1 to this number 6 we will keep it as it is 6 and the rounded off number that you have got is 6000 again here This is four, which is again smaller than five. So we would not add one to the number five here. We will keep it as it is, and so the rounded off number is five hundred. Hence, the answer on adding six thousand and five hundred, you would get is six thousand five hundred, which would be your estimated sum. For example, two, you are asked to subtract these two numbers. Here again, we are going to put a slash after four and a slash after two. why because according to the general rule we have decided that we would always round off the first digit of both the numbers so again as discussed earlier the last three digits that is after the slash we are going to make it as triple zero and thinking for this number this is definitely greater than 5 so children what yes now you are going to add 1 to this number 4 so 4 plus 1 will give you 5 and hence the estimated number is 5000 similarly here this is 
So we know very well that even if it is 5, we are going to add 1 to this number 2. And hence, the estimated number that you get here is 3000. Finally, the difference of the two numbers after subtraction you will get as 2000, which is your estimated difference. Example number 3 is 432 multiplied by 65. The procedure is the same children. Again, you need to put a slash here after 4 and a slash here after 6. After rounding off the numbers in, as done in the earlier sums, we are going to get 400 into 70 multiplied. You get the answer as 28,000, which is your estimated product. In example number 4, 8685 divided by 3434. So, putting a slash here, putting a slash here, very easily put three zeros after the slash, put three zeros after the slash here. So now we have to decide, this is 6 which is greater than 5, so adding 1 to the number 8 here, you will get 9000, adding, no we are not going to add 1 here, why? Because this is lesser than 5, so we will just leave it as it is and we will get the number 3000 here. Now for dividing, you will cut these 3 zeros and these 3 zeros, so finally you will get 9 divided by 3 and the answer would be 3, that is your estimated quotient. Children here, I have just given you some four example questions that this I want you to practice in your practice registers. Kindly do practice them very well and get the answers. Along with these practice questions, I would also like you to solve the questions of exercise 1.3 of your NCRT book I have given you here. In our next video, part 4 of this chapter 1, we shall be learning in detail the last concept that is Roman numerals. Till then, Goodbye children, have a nice day.